Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick tutorial on how to make a MIDI for Utau Synth in GarageBand. Um, a lot of tutorials that I see on how to make a MIDI for Utau are in FL Studio. And FL Studio doesn't run on Mac. Most Macs come prepackaged with GarageBand. So you can make a MIDI in GarageBand, but GarageBand doesn't export MIDIs natively. So it's a little bit of a process, but I'm going to show how to do it. So we're going to create a new empty project, and when you open it up, it's going to ask you to make a track. So we're going to choose software instrument, because that's where we're going to make the MIDI region. Below that, we're going to add the song. So I'm going to do the new Luna song. So now you have the song in and a software instrument. So you need to create a MIDI region for the entire length of the song. So to do this, you hold down Command and uh, left click, and so you want to stretch that so it's the whole length of the song, or at least the length of the vocals. And then you're also gonna to wanna to change the tempo. So the tempo of the song I know is 156. To find the tempo, you can also use a website like All 8's um, BPM Tapper. I use this one mostly, I think it's really good. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that the song is synced up properly. In GarageBand, you have this metronome. So if you know the tempo is correct, you can turn on this metronome and listen to the song with the metronome turned on. And if the metronome clicks match the beat of the song, then you know you have it correct. So once you have it lined up, you can start making your MIDI. You just double click on the MIDI region or you can click on the scissors up here and make sure you have piano roll selected. So to add a note to the piano roll, you hold down commands and you click. And you can drag to make it longer. Now the default instrument is the classic electric piano. This one I think it's pretty quiet, so it's kind of hard to hear. The instrument I normally use is I go to synthesizer and I go to lead, and I do electric buzz because it's pretty loud, and most songs don't have an instrument that sounds like it, so it's really easy to tell it apart from the song. And you might have to mess with these volume sliders right here. I'm not going to go through the process of actually listening and making the MIDI because I'm not great at explaining it. My friend Echo made a video on making MIDIs, so I'll link that in the description. It uses FL Studio, but for the process of listening to the notes and putting them in the piano roll, it's more or less the same. Okay, so here's the finished MIDI for this song. Now that this is finished, we need to export it. GarageBand doesn't have a native MIDI export system. When you save stuff as a loop, which is what I'm going to do, it saves the files as .aif, which is um, a different kind of audio file, but it has MIDI data inside of it. So while Utau or Utau Synth can't read a .aif file, we'll be able to convert it. What you're going to want to do with your finished MIDI is go to this um, MIDI region, click on one of your notes, and do Command A to select everything. Grab one of the notes, any of them, and shorten it a little bit. And it'll shorten all the notes by the same amount. So once you've done that and you have all the notes selected, you're going to want to go up to File and do Add Region to Loop Library. Keep it as a loop and keep these the same. I would click other instrument for the instrument descriptor just so that if you use GarageBand for other things other than making midis it doesn't get mixed up with all your other stuff and then just name it something that you'll be able to remember. Once you have that loop file exported you need to go and locate it on your computer. So you can find where those loops are located by going to your hard drive, going to users, clicking on your user, going to library, Clicking Audio, Apple Loops, User Loops, Single Files. This right here is the file that I just made. So it's a .aif file. So Uta is not going to be able to recognize that, so you have to convert it. The program that I'm using to uh, convert stuff is GB to MIDI. I'll post a link to the download. It's basically just a program that converts this .aif file to a MIDI. So all you have to do to use it is open it, hit Run, and then select your file. It probably won't default to this single files uh, folder, so what you can do is have this open and just drag it onto here, and after that it will default to this. There you have your MIDI, and you can just import it into Utel Synth as you would normally import a MIDI by clicking Import and clicking Open. You want to select the first channels. By default, all of your notes are going to have spaces in between them, but because it's all the same space, you can just do Command A if it's not already selected and just drag it over so there's no spaces anymore. And then you can go ahead with 
inputting lyrics. The reason that we went and we selected every note and we made them um, half a beat shorter is that if you don't do that and you leave the notes all right next to each other, you get stuff like this. There's supposed to be two notes here, one on this side of this note with the length of zero and one on the other side. And I think this just has something to do with the way that GarageBand puts that MIDI data into the AIF file and that program, the GarageBand to MIDI program, doesn't process it correctly. If you separate all the notes beforehand in GarageBand by just selecting everything and shortening it and then exporting it, it works fine. So make sure to do that. It's really easy to fix once you import it back into Utah because you can just select everything and move it. Again, they're all shortened by the same amount. Oh yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll put the link to the GarageBand to MIDI uh, program in the description and I'll also put a link to that BPM counter. Uh, that's it.